Welcome back to the colony, our YouTube family. Just like social wasps and bees, today I will induce a sting from an insect often mistaken as bees. Similar in size, yet brighter in color. Bees like to live in hollow trees, someplace off the ground. But these yellow jackets are commonly subterranean, and evidence of their colony would almost be non-existent if it wasn't for their swarming presence. Thousands of specimens in many instances, especially a predator threatens their existence, commonly called meat bees. See, because these species don't feed on nectar and pollen to make honey, this species is found around garbage cans where old food or meat is present. Equipped with mandibles to rip flesh from decaying organisms or latch onto predators who want to eat their very precious larvae brewing inside their colony. These wasps are often considered the most dangerous because of their well-known disposition of defending their colony with the most aggression. A very large paper wasp species. This is a very common wasp species you may find in your garden, around your yard, or at your house. It is known latinly as Vespa ostrica. Now Vespa ostrica isn't the largest or most formidable looking stinging insect in the world, but it is a pretty potent one and certainly packs a large punch for its size. Now today I want to test the sting of this insect. Now around November, these are some of the last stinging insects I'll be able to find because they go into a period of dormancy known as diapause where the queen will go dormant in order to avoid the hard freeze and any potential of dying due to um, the sub-zero weathers or just below 32 degree weathers. Now, sting tests are never fun and I've tried to do as many as I can and provide the best visual I can for not having a film crew. So this right here will be all done by myself, no film crew, possibly a little editing. The stunt you're about to see could potentially be harmful and dangerous. Do not try this at home. So it's difficult to get the precise. Um, there is the wasp right there. This is the Vespa Ostrica sting test. I'm going to induce a sting right here. As you can see, there's no marks or anything on my arm. And I'll induce a sting, and then we will go ahead and mark that sting site and see just how much damage an insect like this will do. You have a good visual there? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right, the wasp is stinging me currently. Remember, push down his abdomen so your viewers see that. Yep, on my place. So you can see it was a full insertion. And I'll pull him out there. You can see the stinger still stuck in me. Look at that, get a real good zoom in on that. The stinger is actually inserted and stuck inside of my arm. Now the interesting thing here is that a lot of people think like, oh, um, you hold the wasp so far away that you can't actually, um, the insect is unable to sting the full penetration. He's constantly pumping venom right now. Um, and it does burn. It's not severe in my opinion. Um, but the truth is, the stinger is not strong enough to actually see that stinger still stuck in the watch when I pull it out. It's a big visual on that. It's absolutely cool. It won't come out. There it is. It just came out. Is it a hole? Yep. So get a good visual on that sting site there. And you can see it's starting to bleed a little bit. I can see that. Let me go ahead and put the insect back in the vial here. So I can mark the area where I was stung. So we can little booger. There's the insert, uh, the sting insert site there. And the blood, as requested by the viewers. <laughs> right. People don't believe that I can really get stung by these insects, but... Everybody's no pain reason, tolerance is different. Exactly right. I have no reason to embellish my stings. I just try to give the viewers an honest reaction to the stings. And uh, what I was saying was, the wasp stinger is only strong enough to go as far as it can go. The abdomen will be pushed up if it reaches an impenetrable um, tension in your skin. And in this case, mine will only allow him to penetrate so deep until his abdomen is forced up. So he did penetrate. His tear got stuck in there a little bit. 
if I had let him go, then it probably would have um, been stuck there until I pulled him out. You see the three feet. So that is the well, one actually she. Forgive me on that. So that is the sting site. We'll give that about five minutes. Got a good visual there. All right, and we will go ahead and follow up with that. All right, y'all. So after about seven minutes now, you can see the progression of the insect sting. Swelling site has filled the entire circle. The sting is a little um, painful. It's not severely painful. Certainly doesn't compare to a cow killer. But compared to Plessy Carolina, X Clamens, or Metricus, it's very comparable. Um, it's a little different. This one right here seems to have a little more swelling associated with the sting um, in the exact region where I was stung. But that was a full deep penetration on that sting. So I may be a little more localized around the stinger where I was stung right there. Um, however, I didn't induce multiple stings. Um, only because I felt like I wanted to see what the exact sting site would be like. So the swelling is there. You can kind of see it at certain angles there. Right there is this uh, sting right there. You can kind of see that one right there. Um, so pain level on a scale from 1 to 10 with 1 being not at all. And 10 being totally unbearable and avoid it at all costs. Um, I would give this about a 3 on the 1 to 10 scale. Um, it is a little more painful probably than Metricus and Carolina. A little more than Exclaimants. As of right now, I would put this on the top of those flying wasps. However, um, this is not a paper wasp like the typical paper wasp. These do form colonies underground as well as paper colonies um, sometimes in homes and stuff like that. There's several different species of yellow jackets around the United States. This one is the Florida version, the Eastern Yellow Jacket. They tend to be very small compared to some of the other ones that um, are around. And it does pack a punch. The thing about these is they can stay multiple times. They don't. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.